Friends, in the last four classes, we discussed various eco-friendly methods of pest management, which have an influence in suppressing the insect population. Now, we will discuss the last in the series, a new set of uh, approaches, wherein we can also reduce uh, the pest population by mechanical intervention. What are those mechanical intervention? This is nothing but uh, involving uh, the human labor itself directly involved here. There are various uh, strategies uh, again in this uh, mechanical intervention. One of the foremost and the simple technology is uh, hand picking and destruction. This is a simple technique of uh, taking out uh, the egg stages or the larval stages of important pests like uh, Spodoptera or hairy caterpillars. To show very clearly, I have the photograph indicating in case of ground net, the Spodoptera egg masses. You know, this particular female uh, adult lays its egg on the upper surface of the leaf in masses, in groups. Each egg mass that you are seeing there will have about 200 to 300 eggs in one egg mass. And because uh, they can be located easily in the field situation, they can be picked and then destroyed manually. Not only that, even the next 4 5 days, these uh, larvae though hatch from these egg masses, they feed by remaining on one place up to 4 to 5 days. Because of skeletonization, we can locate these egg masses having a larval population even from a distance. These larval population can also be picked and manually destroyed. Similarly, in case of a sunflower, which is another important crop, Helicoverpa is a major pest, particularly during the flowering stage and it feeds on the developing grains. If labor is available easily, if it is economical, then the larval collection of grown up Helicoverpa larvae is the best strategy to reduce the pest population. Another technology that you are seeing in red gram um, areas, particularly in rain fed areas, where Helicoverpa is a major uh, pest. Once the pod development starts, Helicoverpa feeds directly on the developing pods. By shaking the plants onto a, a cotton cloth or a plastic sheet, then collecting them in one heap and then destroying manually is a very simple device followed by the red gram farmers. These are all some of the simple techniques used manually to destroy the insects. Then the next one is the destruction of fallen and infested fruits. You know particularly the fruits uh, damaged by fruit flies. Anyway that fruit which has fallen is already lost. But the most important thing is these fallen fruits will harbor lot of maggots of fruit fly. If you leave as it is, they complete the life cycle and once again the population comes out and uh, uh, new damage is caused to the new fruits. Therefore, collect these fallen fruits and then destroy them manually. Then the next important uh, technology is uh, destruction of termite mound. Now, termites are important pests in agro ecosystem. Wherever there is a termite colony in the nearby field, the crops suffer due to the uh, damage to the roots, wilting of uh, plants takes place. That is why any management tactics to reduce the population of workers will not hold good. Under this situation, we have to locate, we have to locate the termine colony and then dig it up, search for the queen because queen is the central brain in um, the termite colony. If you destroy this uh, queen, entire 40 to 50 thousand works will be almost killed. So, this is one of a simple manual device to reduce the termite attack. Similarly, in case of coconut, you know rats and invertebrate pest is one of the major problem. Here also rats climb to the top of the tree and then damage the developing tender nuts. To prevent this, a placing of a metal sheet it prevents the rat movement, thereby the damage can be prevented. Then the most important thing is digging of trenches. 
some of the hairy caterpillars they move for, for example, red hairy caterpillar they move from one field to another field after feeding on the foliage. So, while they move if you dig a trench and place some insecticide dust in that trench while moving these larvae fall into the trench and because of good contact of the insecticide dust the efficacy of the insecticide can be increased and the mortality of the grown up larvae can be increased. So, this is a simple device to increase the efficiency of the death of the uh, marching lepidopterous insects. Then another important thing is you know covering the fruits particularly fruit crops which have got higher economical value for example, pomegranate or citrus you know they are attacked by fruit sucking moth particularly pomegranate if there is a slight scale damage then the fruit is rejected in the market. For this uh, because of high economic value the complete coverage of the tree plant with the nylon net or if labor is available easily and if labor is economical covering the fruit individual fruit with uh, paper bags works out more economical and more effective technology uh, in reducing the pest damage. Then putting uh, sticky traps or slippery bands on the tree trunk. You know in case of mango mealy bug is a major problem. These mealy bugs move from one plant to another plant after causing damage while they move from one plant to another uh, plant if you just place a band of uh, uh, greasy material like uh, any castor oil these mealy bugs stick to the trunk of a particular mango tree and then they will be caught and then they will be killed. This is how the greasy material can be used as a mechanical device in killing the mealy bug population. Similarly, the plants which are affected already by the insects particularly the scale insects or other uh, fruit borer damage we have already lost those particular plants. If you leave those particular plant parts as it is on the plant the population build up takes place and they further cause the damage to healthy plants. So, that is why removal of these affected plant parts becomes an important mechanical device to reduce the pest population. Now, to conclude in brief all these technologies or the methods so far I explained they have one unique thing. They are basically the agronomic practices or cultural practices already followed by the farmers having an impact on insect population. More than that they are easily adaptable by the farmers. Not only that they are compatible with other methods of pest management and not only the advantages and they are most cost effective in terms of cost you know they are highly economical and uh, foremost important is they are eco friendly technologies which fit very well in the IPM component. Thank you.